Welcome to this video. Today, you're going to learn the difference between do, does, and did. This is a question that a student asks, and it's a great question because I'm going to make this nice and easy for you. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com, and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before you go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. What's the difference between do, does, and did? Well, you need to understand that all three of these are just different forms of the verb to do. So the verb to do is the infinitive. Now, do and does are the present simple conjugations of the verb. And you simply choose one or the other based on the subject that you have. So if you're forming a sentence and your subject is I, you, we, or they, you need to choose do. If your subject is he, she, or it, so third person singular, you need to choose does. And that's it. That's the only difference between do or does in affirmative sentences in the present simple. But keep in mind that do as a verb is used in very specific sentences in the present simple. So for example, you do chores you do chores. The verb do is what we need to complete the sentence. So I could say, I do chores every Sunday. This is a routine, is in the present simple, because my subject is I, then I need do. Now, you can also do homework, for example. Do is the verb that we use with homework. Now, I could say my sister, which of course is she as a subject, my sister does homework every night. Again, this is a routine, so I need the present simple. My subject is my sister, she, so I need does. Now, let's talk about did. Did is the past simple form of the verb to do. And as a past simple verb, there's no difference with subjects. So you use did for all subjects. So that one is easier to remember. And of course, if it's the past simple, then we just need to make sure that our time reference is in the past. So I could say we did our homework last night. She did her homework this morning, assuming this morning is already in the past because right now it's this afternoon or this evening. So this morning is in the past. She did her homework this morning. So notice, it doesn't matter if I use we or she, the subject doesn't matter because did is used for all subjects. You just need to make sure that your time reference is a past time reference, where do and does, your time reference is going to be a routine action. So you're going to hear time references like always, usually, every, then you know it's a present simple. So now you know how to use do, does, and did in affirmative sentences. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4senglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying! Awesome job with this video. You're really improving your grammar and your sentence structure right now. Take the time to practice it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.